What's going on? Sean here. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about doing the things that you need to do in order to achieve your goals. And there's one thing that you need to do every day that gets you there. Nerf this. So I'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, right now, I'm on my way to the city. It's early. It's probably about quarter of seven right now. I gotta get to the office, grab some keys, show one of the places. So, if I don't get on the road now, I wanna be late. Let's go. Welcome to my city. <laughs> So it was really hard trying to find a spot to set up this tripod and uh, I think it's a better spot than the last one. If you watched the taking risk video, I had a shot of the Pru behind me and this shot is way better. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous because this tripod is about to like literally collapse on itself. I'm not using the Gorillapod tripod, Gorillapod tripod, tripod and uh, it's just a stiff one that's a lot more stabilizing when you're walking and talking for vlogs. So I'll make this quick before my camera crashes and burns. Life is all about inching that football forward. It's all about making progress every single day and really that's the theme of this video. Doing things that are bringing you closer and closer to your goal, i.e. moving that football a few inches downfield. If you can do the small things successfully, what you're gonna do is sharpen the ax. Every time you get a win, every time you do something well, every time you do something that brings you closer, that ax gets sharpened. And what happens when you sharpen that ax? You have the best blade in town, isn't that right? So you just wanna keep sharpening that ax, sharpening that ax, sharpening that ax, and getting that razor's edge. Because that's what separates the successful from the unsuccessful. It's that slight edge, it's that razor's edge. Those small things that successful people do well that unsuccessful people don't. Corner cutters, things like that. So I hope all that makes sense. The showing didn't really do too well and I'm pretty bummed out about it, but it's okay. Cause I know going on that appointment, meeting that client is gonna bring me closer to that overall goal of getting him a place, of finding one of my units for him to rent. And although he didn't like the ones that I showed him, I have more options for him. And so I'm building that relationship, building that rapport, and in the long run, I will get him a place and I will benefit from that, all while helping him help me. So it's really a win-win for the both of us. So again, just do those small things well. Sharpen that ax, have the best blade in town, and who knows, you might own that one day. <laughs> All right, cheese ball. Um, with that being said, I am going to go back to the office, get ready for the next appointments, and uh, let's see where the day takes us. Side note, it's always interesting to meet new people. Like, whenever I have this camera out, or whenever I'm flying the drone, it always causes someone to come up and say hi to me, which I really love, because I love you know building relationships and meeting people, um, but I guess, Someone flew a drone over Fenway the other day. It wasn't me I'm saying that right now. It wasn't me. Um, and I guess it's in the paper, and now it might be a no fly zone soon if things keep happening. At least that's what the guy who stopped me in the park told me. But I guess we'll see. Either way, I'm gonna make the shots happen, boy. All right, let's keep it rolling. So at the office, gonna do a little bit of work and post some ads, uh, follow up with some clients. Um, the showings that I had today did not go as well as I would have liked them to, but the good news is I did establish great relationships with the people that I met. They were both long appointments, so it was a lot of FaceTime to build that rapport and 
build that relationship to get them to like me, to know me, to trust me, and we do that in a number of ways, and I've made videos on that before, and maybe I'll make a nice in-depth one a little bit later, but just because I didn't get the deal today doesn't mean that I won't tomorrow or the next day or the next day, because going back to what I said back in Fenway, you want to move that football field down the field, right? So I didn't get the touchdown today, but you know what? I got the first down. I had a nice five-yard carry. So right now, I'm just going to do a little bit of more work, uh, a little more desk work, paperwork, that kind of stuff. Stuff you're not interested in. Um, I am going to be on a podcast tonight. Uh, it's hard to find people in your area making it happen or trying to make it happen or trying to find someone who matches your hustle and wants the same goals as you do. Uh, my good friend Henry, who I've recently met, still a good friend, uh, we are going to be talking some smack on the podcast. I'm going to link that podcast down below because I think he's going to have it up before this video. So either way, I'll link it down below, if not at the time of this video, sometime after. So be on the lookout for that. You always want to promote yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. And that's a fact. So let me get back to work and I'll catch up with you after these messages. So that dude that I met in Fenway was not lying at all. Check this ish out. Check it out. In no fly zone. Boom. Right in there. I'm right in the heart. What is up with that? Little Mav can't take off. And I can't get any sweet drone shots today. So that means I'm just gonna have to use some ones that I got before. So, currently in Revere, about to go do this podcast. I didn't realize how close it was. I thought it was going to be a little further, more of a drive, but hey, we're going to do this thing. So, like I said, I'll link it down below and um, obviously put in a couple shots, uh, see how it goes. You go by Sean, right? Yeah. Okay. No, no, uh, no pseudonym. No pseudonym or names or anything. <laughs> Stage day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're recording. What's up, guys? It's Hank from Simple Chew. I also go by Henry. I got Sean in my podcast right now. We're gonna do a, a little interview and see, uh, go through his knowledge and go through his head and see what's uh, what he got for us. And hopefully, you guys like it. Subscribe to my channel and his, and stay tuned. That's right. Like I said earlier, I'm going to link all of his stuff in the description box below, so make sure you go check it out and subscribe to my man. Hopefully I can trickle a little bit of knowledge. <laughs> but still be in, in the game, though. Definitely. Yeah. Um, if, you, like, you have, like, if you're sitting on like a huge lump sum of cash and you're like, I, I have no idea what I'm doing, mm -hmm. I would definitely meet with a syndicator or buy like a turnkey, which is, you know what a turnkey is? No. So the podcast went really well. Uh, the camera died while I was recording. So this is the next day. Uh, it's currently Saturday morning. Um, but I'm going to end the video right here. Hopefully you got something out of it and you learned some things or it motivated you in some way or maybe you were just entertained. My name is Sean and each and every video I do try to make you the best version of you. So if you haven't already, please make sure you click subscribe and you turn the post notifications on because I do release videos every Monday to get your week started and every Friday to get your weekend going and you don't want to miss a thing. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Appreciate all the support you give me. Catch you next time. Signing off.